Now I will discuss how to save the any API response in the variable so that we can use the value of that particular variable in the other APIs in the request body or the in the request URL. So we have the create booking API. So this will returns with the booking ID. So let me hit the send button now. So after creating the booking, so we are getting the booking ID here. So by using this booking ID, we are checking the details in the get API by passing the booking ID or in the URL. Also, we are using in the update booking API. So we are going to update the booking details. Also, we are using that booking ID in the delete booking for deleting the resource from the server, right? So let's go to the, our create booking API. So firstly, we have to save this particular value, booking ID value in the variable. Then we will, we will use that particular variable in the get booking details, update booking and delete booking. So what I will do here, I will go to the this test tab. So here we have to write simple two lines of JavaScript code that will programmatically create the variable and also it will set the value. So on the right side, you can go down and you can select the option as set an environment variable. So that's it. And after that, what you need to do is you need to use the pm dot. So this particular object contains current API request and the response. So that's the reason I'm using the pm dot response. So we want to save the this particular API response data into the variable. So that's the reason I'm calling to the response. After that, I will convert this API response into the JSON object. Then I will assign back to the variable called JSON data. So that's it. So by using this particular JSON object, we can read this particular value that is a booking ID value, right? So here I'll specify the JSON data object that is a JSON object and after that I will specify the key. So by using this particular key we can access the respective value and after that here we can enter the variable name I will specify b underscore id. So that is nothing but booking id. So that's it. So currently if you look at this environment variables we have only two variables that is a f name that is nothing but f uh, first name and we have another variable called l name that is the last name. So after executing this API, this JavaScript will create the another variable called b underscore id and also it will set the respective value also. So let us hit the send button now. So we got the 200 uh, status code successfully it is got executed. Let's go to the environment variables now and if you look at here. So this particular API got API created the b underscore id variable and also it is assigned the respective value also. So now we have created the variable and also we have assigned the value by using the simple JavaScript. Now let's read the particular value in the get booking details API. So here we are hard coding that particular booking id so far. So let's pass it programmatically. So here I'm just specifying the b underscore id and after that. So inside the two braces you can specify the variable name. So that's it. So uh, it will turn into the orange color. That is nothing but it is reading the value from the environment variables. So that's it. So similarly I will do it for the update booking API. So here I'll pass b underscore id in the two curly braces. Then I will do it for the delete booking API also. So that's it. So now once again I will execute the create booking API. Right. So we got this particular number. So we got the booking ID also and I will hit the get booking details. So we should be able to get the, get the respective booking details now. Right. Here we got the other details. So let us try to update something in the request body of create booking and we'll verify whether we are getting the proper details in the get booking details, booking details. So here I'll go to the body tab and here I'll update this particular 
value that is a total price as a 1000 then i will hit send button so resource got created in the server and let's hit the get booking details api now so let's create one more one one more request one more request uh, i will just create another booking now and i will verify it so this api got executed properly that is a post request so now let's try to execute the get api so this will get the detail of details of the any booking details by taking the parameter as the booking id so if you look at this one so whatever the value we have updated while creating a booking we got that particular value that is nothing but so it is working fine so let's do it same thing for the event token generator also so that we can execute all our apis so this particular token generator returns us the token id so this particular token we will save into the one of the variable then we will use that particular token variable in the update booking api and also we'll use that particular variable in the delete booking api also so without token we can't update any booking details and without token we can't delete any booking details so that's the reason we are going to save this particular token in the one of the variable how we did it for the booking id so similarly i will do it for the this particular token so i will go to the tests tab here and here i will set the environment variable so here i will select the set and environment variable and before that we have to read the api response by using the pm dot response then we have to convert this into the json object then i will assign back to the variable called json data so by using this json data variable then i will after using this particular variable that is json data i will specify the key here so that's it so here we can specify the variable name that is a variable key it can be anything so in my case i am specifying b underscore token so that's it so right now if you look at this environment variable list we have the only three variables got created so after executing this token generator api so another variable will be added to the environment variable list so i will hit the send button now then i will go to the environment variables so if you look at this b underscore token variable got added and also respective value also you can see it here so it is ending with 757 in the response also you can see that the same value is present here so in the update booking and and delete booking we are using this particular token in the headers right so i will go to the first uh, update booking api and here in the cookies key and respective value we are specifying it so similar way how we are accessing the <coughs> environment variable data so similar way even we can specify the variable here also in the two curly braces so that's it so similarly i'll do it for the delete booking api i'll go to the headers here i'll specify the b underscore token so that's it so previously we were entering manually this particular token for updating the particular booking details or whenever we are deleting the booking details so now everything we have parameterized it now let's execute all the apis one by one and also i will go to this particular folder before executing all the apis so here also i will parameterize the so i, I don't think we can parameterize anything here so in the first scenario we are simply passing the some random number and in the second scenario we are uh, passing invalid data in this particular field so that's fine no issues so let's execute all the apis which are there inside the positive endpoints so this first api get booking ids this will returns all the booking ids so we got the 200 response code that's the status code so it is working fine so let's create the booking now 
So it is working fine with the 200 status code. Then we will get the respective details by using the get booking details. So we got the response and we are able to see the 200 status code. So let's use the token generator. So token got generated. And so this time in the update API, if you look at this particular body, so we have the first name as Specflow and last name as Selenium Shishar. So if you look at the previous API, get booking details, we have the first name as testers and last name as top. So after executing this update booking, so first name and last name will be updated there also. So let's execute this API now. So it is got updated. Let's check the get booking details now. And here also you can see that first name is updated with a spec flow and last name is updated updated with the selenium shisha and update a booking sorry update booking api also it is working fine so let's use the let's execute the delete booking api also so it is also working fine we got the 201 created response right so this is how you can save the any api response in the variable and you can use it in the further apis